Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial, like a walkthrough on how to make a Fortnite YouTube banner. So for starters, you're going to want to make a document, well, make a, um, I don't know what this is called, image that is 2560 pixels by 1440 pixels. Alright, so after that you should have something sort of like this, just plain. So now what you're going to do is look up YouTube banner overlay. So if I go to right here, actually look up YouTube banner template, and you'll find something like this. So this will show you where you need to be. So just copy this in, and then boom, drag your ruler down to where you need to be. Then you can make a selection like this. So now I'm gonna make this uh, gray so I can see it better because my background's gonna be kind of black. All right, so now I've got that. Make sure to name it something and save. All right, so now what you're gonna want to do: open up Chrome, and find your favorite skin. So I'm gonna be looking up. So go to fnbr.co/ping. <clears throat> if you just look up Fortnite skin ping, this website should come up as one of the first ones. Alright, so now what you're going to do is I'm just going to pick out a random skin that looks pretty good. So I'm going to go with probably. Uh, I think I'll go with this one. <coughs> Sorry, my throat kind of feels odd right now. Alright, so now you're going to open it in a new tab and copy the image. Look at this. This is such a great render. Alright, now you go here, control V to paste it in. Alright, but we have an issue. I'm going to view extras off. I'm going to turn those off so I can see this better. Go clear. Okay, we're going to have an issue with this. So what I'm going to do is, uh, let me see if I remember. Don't. So, what I'm going to do is select this app, clear that, and select this outside, clear that. Now, I'm going to take my brush, if you need any brush tool. Really tiny. Go around this hand. Very easy. Doesn't have to be perfect to look good. Just want to get rid of the black. Alright, I'm going to speed through this part so you guys don't have to watch it. All right, now that you have that ping acquired, looking all nice, what you're going to do is move it below your overlay to make sure that you know it, and bring it down. <coughs> About that. So I'm going to make it a bit bigger, and I'll turn it a little bit like this. Yeah, like this. All right, so then now that you have your skin, let's go back to this website, and let's find some of the stuff that goes along with it. So this is one of the things for a guitar backpack. Let's copy this in. Let's 
This one should be a lot easier to clear. Yeah. And this is kind of just like background stuff to make it look quite a bit cooler. Just kind of a filler. Alright, so now you have that. That's a pretty good start. So now what you're want to, going to want to do is probably add some text. Be adding here. Just name. So I'm going to use this selection tool. Select about that color. Quite a bit bigger. Take this, select this area to center it each way. <coughs> I'm going to move this over a little bit, center it kind of, then I'm going to put it below Fortnite character. A little bit more over. Now that's looking pretty cool already. So now what I'm going to start doing is adding some details and adding some background. So what I'm going to do for the background is go here again. And let's see. Uh, let's go back to home. Upcoming items. All right. Well, let's find some pings here real quick. Something that we can use for the background. Well, let's just look up Fortnite wallpaper. Alright, something like this would be perfect. It's pretty look like. Alright, this will work great. So copy this image, paste it below the other ones. Alright, that looks really nice. So what I'm going to do is shift this whole area. This and click Alt. Or actually, I'm just going to keep on this tool. Right click, there will be a copy. Control T, drag it over here. Way bigger. And we should be able to fill this up pretty easily. And now we're just kind of blending. So I'm going to be taking my brush, picking the default soft brush. Just kind of fill this in, make it a little nice. Kind of want it to be all sort of, like feel the same sort of color. Something like this. I'm not going to keep it like this. I'm just going to turn it down a bit. Just kind of give it that feel, though. All right, I'm going to make another layer. Get white. White in the middle. Overlay. Turn it down a little bit. Make another layer. Get black. Overlay. Boom. Turn that down quite a bit. You don't want that too bright. I'm going to drag both these under the color layer. <coughs> okay, so we already have a pretty cool header or a pretty cool banner for YouTube. So now I'm going to do some shading and some lighting. Alright, so first of all, I'm going to go to this Fortnite character, make a new layer, mask it onto this, holding Alt, and to get out the white some white around it, just like that, overlay, then we're going to get some black, and go in the opposite part, and soft light, 
go on the guitar. Same thing. So right now we're just kind of shading, making things kind of look like they're in the same scene. Go below it, and I'm going to make this up a little bit. Get all big. All right, so this is looking pretty good. So what I'm going to do is add some little details to the text. I'm going to double click on the layer, inner glow. Make sure it's on overlay. Size up and choke up. Just kind of play with it until it looks how you want it to. It's about how I want it to look. And then I'm going to do the same thing we did with the skin. And add a light on it. As well as a dark. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna blur this background. So first of all, I'm gonna merge all these, these two layers into one. You might already have it as one. <coughs> so I'm gonna click filter. Actually, first I'm gonna duplicate it. Hold Alt and drag up. Filter, blur, radio blur. Amount 10, spin, good, okay. Should get something like this. So what I'm gonna do, because I like this middle, to take out the blur on the middle, and then go over to the opacity and turn it down over here. That'll give you a nice blur on the outsides. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Oh, I'm gonna make this black though. All right, so now what I'm going to do is click Layer, Adjustment Layer, Brightness Contrast. Mess with the brightness and contrast till it looks how I want it to. So I want quite a bit of contrast on it. Some brightness. Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Use Saturation, <coughs> and click OK. Turn the saturation up to make it really nice. And I might play with the hue a little bit to see if I can get a better look than I have now. That looks pretty good. Now we'll go layer, new adjustment layer, color balance. Okay. Mess with the colors, making sure you get only the colors you want out of it. All right, so I think this is looking pretty good. One thing I do want to add though, is a light above the skin as well as the guitar and stuff to make a better scene. Get sort of a white here. Turn it down. Alright, so now I'm gonna add in some particles. So for the sake of this video I'm just gonna Google particle. Alright now This will work perfect. All right. Right click, copy image. Control V. Now, what you're going to want to do is layer, new adjustment layer, new saturation. Okay. Mask it onto this by holding Alt. Saturation down all the way. And Control click and merge layers. Then you're going to want to change the layer style to screen. So add particles over the um, over the image, which looks really nice already. Then you can make them bigger, make them smaller. I'm gonna make them smaller at the front, right here. Make another layer behind all this, and make it. Can 
giving it some dimension. All right. And then one thing I would think would look pretty cool in this is some lightning. I'm going to look up lightning ping. Wow. Spelling. <coughs> oh, let's just go like this. Yeah, this looks pretty cool. Right click, actually. Black is back, black background is always best for these. So control V put it under the particles. Make it bigger. Turn it a bit. Click screen. Drag this up above the rest of the stuff. Get this a bunch of times just to add a bunch of lightning there, make it look as cool as I can. All right, and then we'll do one more behind these things. All right, I think that looks pretty awesome, honestly. Um, any last touches you'd want to do would maybe be making a new layer above and just fixing some, adding some more outside lighting. This getting a bit darker on the outside. It's All right, I think that's it. Thank you guys for watching. This has been its own here. And please do like, subscribe, and comment below what you thought of the video. My last video got 1,000 views, so that is just amazing. And yeah, it's just awesome. Oh, um, last video I forgot to tell you guys. So when you're gonna save this, what you're gonna wanna do is select all. You're gonna click the top layer, hold shift, click the bottom layer, and then click this icon, which is group. It will put it all in a group. I'm just going to make it pink. Or purple for fun. Hold all. Drag it up. That went off. Right click, merge group. Now what you're going to want to do is file, export, save for web. Have it as ping24. As you can see, this looks pretty great. To save same products, save. All right, thank you guys for watching, and peace out.